is up guys, my name is K9 and welcome back to the pack. Yes, I'm in my dressing gown because I've literally just got back from the second showing of West Side Story. Doing it up until Saturday. It's Wednesday today that I'm recording this so I can't upload this today unfortunately. And I've literally just got back I think it's like quarter past ten. So I'm going to try and get this out tomorrow on Thursday so you guys can actually see it. Um, you guys suggested this quite a while ago to um, do a Draw My Life. Obviously it's going to be a Draw My Life so far because obviously I've not lived a lot of my life right now. Um, so yeah, I've put together a little clip that I um, recorded at school actually when I was there before um, the show started. So I could actually use a whiteboard and wipe out etc. So I tried to get as much information as possible. I'm sorry if it's not very good because I'm not obviously used to doing that. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Not sure how this is going to work, but I want to try my best anyway, because uh, I said I would do something like this eventually. Um, so yeah, I've got a little whiteboard here. I am at school, practically at the minute. It's after hours though, so I'm waiting for my show to start. So I thought I would do this here, and I've got a whiteboard, I can just rub it out. Also, I apologise already, because I am a shit drawer, so if you don't like any of these images, I apologise. Anyway, let's get started. So, draw my life, yeah, uh, I'm going to start with obviously where I lived, uh, where I was born. Uh, bear in mind, I literally can't draw this country, so let's give this a go anyway. Uh, you can probably guess what it is anyway. Oh god, that's terrible. Uh, around here? Yep, yeah, and around here. Oh, I'm doing alright actually. Okay, that's messed up. Anyway, basically, UK, Ireland, whatever you call that, you know, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so I was born in this part of the country here, not right in the middle, but obviously if you know this place, it is Scotland. I was born in Scotland and I was born in Dundee in Scotland. Yeah, so I was born in Dundee up in Scotland up here. Um, top of the UK, if you don't know where that is, and if you don't know where the UK is, then I have no idea what to explain. Uh, but yeah, I was born there, I stayed there for about two years of my life, um, with my brother, and my mother, and my father. So yeah, um, the first two years of my life, it was just me, my brother, yes, we don't have arms, my mother, put little hair on that, and me dad, like that. Oh, why has he got arms and we don't? There we go. Anyway. So yeah, literally us four were all there and as soon as we moved into Pateley from Scotland, basically Dad went out of the picture because apparently he didn't want to have kids even though he had them anyway So well done wearing protection for that one. So basically my dad left when we were about two and We were just left with mum and she's done an amazing job already bringing us up on her own Obviously until she met Matt which you guys might know which I'll explain later on in the video so yeah, I went to a primary school in Pateley called St. Cuthbert's. Also, I'm sorry if uh, the camera's a bit shaky. I'm trying to hold it with my left hand and right with this at the same time. So St. Cuthbert's, I went there. In, so that's in Pateley. It was just literally down the road. And um, my mum worked there as well, so it's quite handy for us to go there. Um, considering as well, it was like a two minute walk. So I went there for primary school. A lot in high school, I was in primary school. I was I did some dance clubs as well in primary school. I kind of started dance there. Um, so I did all that. And I also went to this place as well, separately. This is a performing arts school that I went to called Future Stars that was actually done at my school. It wasn't part of the school, but it was done in the school building. And that's what kind of got me into all the performing arts and everything like that. That's what got me to be a dancer dancing yeah anyway so yeah that's kind of got me to do all that stuff and um that i started that i think when i was about i think i was about six or seven six or seven i started that and that's where i met my good mate jackson who is also known as crazy that you guys know we've been mates for years now um so yeah i did a lot of that stuff i was also doing a lot of athletics a lot of sport a lot of cricket and um all that in primary school but i stopped that eventually because i just mo mainly focused on dance um also when i got to high school um that was a bit hard for me, not really as hard as everyone else. Basically, when I was in year seven slash eight, I can't remember exactly which one, I decided that since I was taller and bigger, I would pick on the little kids. So basically, I was here, big guy. I was five foot five, about maybe five foot two, five foot three, maybe, as soon as I hit year seven. So I was a lot taller than everyone else, and I used to bully people. I was very, very harsh bully as well I used to punch them kick them you know beat them up for no reason whatsoever even if they just said something to me I'd probably just beat them up but I had a lot of issues so it's basically as soon as I stopped year eight I decided that well kind of mum decided and I went along with it that I needed to go to a counselor to get myself sorted because I had some anger issues I didn't know exactly why or 
when they occurred. But here is where I went. This um, place just outside Harrogate, which is a school I, a school I went to. I went to a St. Aidan's in Harrogate. Um, this was just outside of Student Starbeck, which was like the next town over. So I went there a few days after school, kind of talked to my counsellor, and it sorted everything out as well. So that's kind of why I'm the happy person I am today. It's kind of why I'm more... I'm not as angry. I don't have any anger management issues or anything like that anymore, thanks to Wellspring. So I went there a couple of days after school and eventually um, the dude that was my counselor had to go and I decided I didn't want to carry it on with someone else because he had all my trust. And if you have any sort of counselor or anything like that, you'd understand what I mean about trust and trusting your um, social worker counselor and people like that. Um, so yeah, that was quite hard for me at the time, but that sorted me all out. And now surprisingly, a lot of the people that used to be up in year seven and year eight are now quite close friends with me now as well which I'm really happy about but I'm also really surprised about as well I think I've explained that before in a different video um, but yeah I ended up stopping upstage I ended up went into a new dance school called creative dance oh god I'm creative dance and um, I started that for ages uh, I think I started that when I was about 13 um, she was just starting up with my teacher as well in a church hall and eventually she got her own studio so I stayed there for a while and eventually I've now moved on to where I am now in dance, which is freedom. And yeah, and obviously I work at Little Rascals as well, well, Rascals Entertainment now, which is a entertainment company. So I work there, oh, this is terrible. I'm sorry if this is a terrible draw my life as well, if I've missed bits out, because I've not done this before, and I'm trying my best here. Um, but yeah, you guys seem to want that. Um, but yeah, when I was 16, um, I met with this beautiful girl, as you would probably know, known by Charlotte or Lottie. And yeah, obviously hit it off straight away. She was 15 at the time. I'll write that down. And I literally just knew right then and there. You guys probably wouldn't understand this if you haven't had a very, like, you know, relationship like me. Um, which a lot of you will have done. But I literally wanted her and only her in my life for the whole, whole rest of the day that I live. So... I end up getting engaged with her after, believe it or not, six months. Now a lot of you will be against that, a lot of people were against it at the time, because it was just literally six months and I got engaged to her and we've nearly been together two years now and still going strong, still going very strong. I hope you like that video, again, sorry if it wasn't that good, it's just not something I usually do, but anyway, I still hope you enjoyed it. Um,